Today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Gamer Block, the rated E for everyone gaming block for February 2017. When last we met our hero, or last we saw our hero, uh, we were having a look at the Gamer Block rated M for Mature. Wanted to have a look now at the rated E for everyone, so you guys can see the types of boxes, box choices that you can come uh, that you can choose from when it comes to the new Gamer Block. The Gamer Block has taken over for the Arcade Block, which uh, ran for a very long time, and I guess they opted to go from the Arcade Block now to the Gamer Block, which un encompasses a little bit more PC gaming, at-home gaming. Of course, inside, you're not only just going to get that, you're going to get some t-shirts, some collectibles, and so much more. Click the link down below and you can subscribe and get the Gamer Block, either the Gamer Block E for everyone, or the M for Mature, depending on your preference. With that being said, the gamer block for February has arrived. We're going to grab old red for this. And let's go ahead and cut the paper tape that's featured on the front. I'm curious to see the kind of stuff we're going to be getting now with the E for everyone, having already looked at the M for mature, or mature, as I like to say as well. Uh, inside some unblocking tips, in case you wanted to know, snap, share, and nerd out, which is usually what we end up doing on this channel. We do a little bit of snapping, in this case recording, that's what we're doing right now. The fact that you can watch this video right now, I kid you not, promsies, the fact that you can watch this video means that I'm successfully recording it, successfully edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it and successfully uploaded it to YouTube. Uh, you can share at hashtag nerdblock for your chance to win some prizes. And also you can head over to their website at www.nerdblock.com and uh, at nerdblock if you want to follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All right, so let's have a look at some of the things that we got inside for the E for everyone. The first one we get. <laughs> nice. We get ourselves Parappa the Rapper. Uh, right down there, it's Stubbins Parappa the Rapper. Uh, red beanie variant actually it's official licensed product come to us from uh, well, the, I guess Stubbins maybe Stubbins Stubbins is a trademark of cool brands cool brands being the maker of Parappa I didn't actually own Parappa the rapper but much like probably other people out here that can relate when I had originally had a PlayStation I used to get those free uh, trial game CDs. Remember those that used to come in with magazines and you would get like trial demos of games. One of them being Parappa the Rapper. So I always play, rem I almost remember playing Parappa. I only got to like, I think they only gave you like two levels. But vividly remember, this was part of my original gaming uh, entry into the realm of PS uh, PlayStation uh, gaming. Very, very cool to get a Parappa the Rapper. Put him right over there. Get him to hopefully stand in the process of doing that. Next, we have ourselves a t-shirt. And sticking with the idea of gaming, we've got ourselves Battle of the Bands presented by Rock Band Rivals. Tonight at the Owl Lodge, it's $6 advance, $8 at the door. All ages, doors open at 7. Nice blue t-shirt featuring some really cool artwork. I love when... Shirts are busy, not overly busy, but when you've got a lot going on to look at, and it's always in like one color... In this case, white, one color on like a blue t-shirt. Looks really good. A lot of stuff going on there. Fold this up as best as we can, of course. You know, I'm not the best folders when it comes to t-shirts. Let's see what else we have inside. We've got ourselves Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. This would be the gaming entry from uh, Gamer Block. Explore a neon galaxy in your very own battleship and lovers in dangerous space time. A thrilling one to four player couch co-op adventure. It's winner of the best uh, winner best at PAX East four player network. It's also winner of best gameplay big festival. Winner of PAX East Destructoid and winner of Innova uh, Innovation Award extra credits among several as you can see other awards that they won as well. Now, what I normally do on this channel, you know, I always give this away to one lucky viewer. Some would say, Spot, keep it to yourself. You earned this. This is for you. And I say, to, I say thank you for that acknowledgement. But you know what? I have to give it to you guys. I have to share the wealth. 
Not only am I bringing to you Gamer Block everyone, but I'm also bringing you the perks of this video as well. It's the least I can do. There it is right there. One lucky viewer right there is currently writing it down, mad dashing, going to his other computer because he's got maybe another one over here. He's typing it in right now. Launch your Steam client software and log into your Steam account. Click the games menu, choose activate a product on Steam, and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Get it? Got it? Good. We'll put that to the side. Included as well, we have ourselves a gamer block. Don't miss a beat. I see what they did right there. We've got some gaming hearts. More importantly, it looks like Legend of Zelda hearts. And this is a pin. Gamer block E pin, zinc alloy. Comes from the folks over at Wax Off Designs. Custom collectible toys. Okay, custom collectible buy, I should say. I thought that said toy. Custom collectible buy, waxoffdesign.com. Very, very nice. Included as well, we get ourselves a Pac-Man bow tie. Spot, did you just spend a whole big budget to incorporate a Pac-Man sound effect? <laughs> no, that was me. I know, that was, it sounded like it was professionally done in a studio. No, that, that was just me behind a camera. I'm such a silly guy. Pac-Man bow tie. Coming to us from uh, Surreal Entertainment. Brought to you by Surreal Entertainment 2016, hand wash only, made in China. And add that to next time I've got my suspenders on. Spot, you wear suspenders? Next time I've got suspenders and a dress shirt on, I'll put this on as well. Not to bust ghosts necessarily, but just to dress in style. I like to do it from time to time. Uh, included as well inside. Let's see if I can reach in there. Reach, 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 reach. See what we got. What do we got? What do we got in there? We got ourselves a $10 credit. Use your previous shirt punch puzzle pieces and continue to collect this set to get a $100 shirtpunch.com gift card. Like the gaming that was down there, somebody made use of. I would hope somebody's made use of. Let me just stop for a second before I finish my train of thought, which I'm sure has already been forgotten, uh, as well, just because you're watching this video, this could be months down the road from me uploading it. Maybe somebody didn't make use of these little gaming, you know, thingamajiggers, these little activation codes. Makes you think. Go back to some of those other, other videos. You might still be able to make use of those activation codes. Maybe somebody all has the same frame of mind. Somebody else has beaten me to it, and thereby they don't make efforts to try to check it and that code, my friend, is still active. Same as this one right here. There's a code. You can get yourself 10 smackaroons. Redeem this at nerdblock.com forward slash shop. Use this for, as you can see here, some collectibles, t-shirts, and so much more. That's for you. Again, you could go back and watch older videos. I'm not just saying that to go back and watch older videos of mine. You can do that as well anyways. But go back. You never know who may not have used these cards. Right now, Timmy is thinking to himself, as soon as I'm finished this video, I'm going to go check out those other older spot videos because I'm sure there's a card code on there that hasn't been redeemed. He's a smart lad. I would pat him on his head and say, you're smart. You're a smart lad. What are you, from like the 40s spot, somebody would say? Anyways, we've got the Nerdblock Magazine, January 2017 Gamer E Edition. I think I might have actually said February, but I guess this is the E edition for uh, January. Uh, we've got an exclusive Q&A with the creators of Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Five comic doppelgangers they didn't think we'd notice. What's inside January's Gamer Block? Plus sneak peek at February's Gamer Block. There are some people unboxing some stuff. Spot, you unbox stuff too. I know I do. I'm not on there though. Sad. It's a sad day, I know. I'm not on there, but one of these days, I say to myself, although it would really only be a pair of hands, I know, it's not as exciting as, let's say, let's say this guy right here. He looks like he's pretty excited to get all this haul inside his box. He's taking a photo of it. Nerd Block is like, yeah, I think he best represents somebody that unboxes our stuff. We're going to put it inside a magazine. Now you compare that with a picture of me doing this or me doing this. Does that sound as exciting or does that seem as exciting? Probably doesn't, I know. I know I'm kind of 
alienating myself by not doing something wow. I gotta have like fireworks and little explosions and well, maybe animals walking across like a little cat that's dancing in the corner. One of these days I say to myself, we've got Freddy Krueger, five most creative kills. We've seen this before. Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 3, Dream Warriors, Jennifer Caulfield, Caulfield, uh, Spencer Lewis from Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 6, which I thought was kind of weak. Uh, Taryn White from Part 3 as well. Eh, kind of weak. Mark Gray, creative, yes. Cheesy, sure. And Philip Anderson from Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 3, Dream Warriors. Still, no Carlos. No Carlos from Freddy's Dead. Nice hearing from you, Carlos. Which was actually, I think, one of the better aspects of that movie was just some of the deaths were pretty good. The movie as a whole was pretty stinkeroo, but the rest of the deaths, though, were, were some of the better ones, I have to admit. Uh, we've got Parappa the Rapper plush. By the way, this is what we're getting inside, or this was what we did get inside, as we've already kind of really covered base on all of this. We did get a Parappa the Rapper plush. Did that. Pac-Man bow tie. Not a single cent was spent on the budget of sound effects there. That came from my mouth. Pixel heart pin. Lovers is in a dangerous time, which by the way is still it's still uh, it's still right here, right here, right there, right there, right there. Somebody can make use of that. Uh, and then we also have the T-shirt rock band as an exclusive. Lovers in a dangerous time exclusive. Pixel heart pin exclusive. Power of the rapper. I don't think he's exclusive. Nor is the Pac-Man tie. But you got three exclusives inside this month's box. The next month's theme is golden. 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 Uh, and then we've got Doppelgangers Marvel vs. DC. We've looked at this before as well in previous magazines. Quicksilver and The Flash. Yeah, yeah, see that? Black Cat and Catwoman. Okay, yeah. Hawkeye and Green Arrow. Ant-Man the Atom. Uh, Thanos. Thanos and Darkseid. And Lady Sif and Wonder Woman. Doppelgangers bouncing all over the place. I wonder if I have a doppelganger. Wonder who on YouTube would you say is a spot doppelganger? Let me know down below. I'll look into it. We'll just see this doppelganger that's out there pretending to be me. There's only one me. Then we've got Nerdblock is declaring that 2017 is Year of the Nerd. Did you know that? Did you? I, I didn't really. I knew it. Sometimes I, I forget for a second. And then I'm reminded again, oh, Year of the Nerd. Be a good time to be a nerd. Hashtag Year of the Nerd. So there you have it, guys. Another subscription box in the vault. That's not true. Vault would imply that it's not actually ever going to be seen by public. It's now into the realm of YouTube. We looked at Gamer Block M for Mature for January. Now we were looking at the E for Everyone Gamer Block for January 2017. That kind of worked out well, because now you can kind of see between the M for Mature, I'm not pointing at Parappa the Rapper, but I'm just pointing at another video that would be here, right here. We looked at Mature, we looked at E for Everyone, now you can see the difference between the two for January 2017. You like one over the other? Subscribe to the E for Everyone. You like Mature? Subscribe to the M for Mature. The option is completely up to you. In the meantime, though, in the meantime, we were looking at the January 2017 box from the folks over at Gamer Block for E for Everyone. This is basically suitable for everybody's eyes. Everybody's eyes. Except for the person that has no eyes. But they use their sense of smell, and they're really good at listening, which is, I think, a friend that you would want to have in your life. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more videos heading your way as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.